The immortality you seek is within yourself, and yet may only be invoked from without. For that which you think of as yourself is an illusion. I am yourself. That self is within all beings, from clod of earth to blazing sun. Do not despise your body, for it is the shrine of my life. Your bones hold the life essence as granite glitters with mica. My life force courses through the fluids of your body, as it does with planets and all beings thereon. What appears to you to be the lowest form of matter, a stone, is in verity through the divine law of octaves, in resonance with the highest star. My throne of power whereon I rest is at the base of your spine, wherein lies coiled my lightning. But this inner serpent power must be aroused from without, because that which is transcendent claims you. My lightning of life unites all spheres of consciousness, bringing eternal bliss. Hence humans may neglect the immortal deities and still prosper for a while. Yet eventually, the residual light within them burns low, becomes angry and red, bringing disorders, and finally flickers out in premature death. As the physical body becomes diseased through lack of sustenance from the deities, so does your world move to destruction. Though successful through use of material sciences, humanity is becoming increasingly corrupt through lack of life essence. There is a divine correspondence with each life centre within your own body and the expansion of your consciousness. You cannot attain divinity by, neg by neglecting your lower centres. That way leads to a meteoric spiritual rise, followed by downfall. The holy place of lightning within your root centre needs to be in healthy balance, a sure foundation from which will grow the tree of life within you. Every flower, the centres upon that tree, depends for its nourishment on the roots. When this foundation centre is dangerously awakened through misuse, madness and total loss of free will is the outcome. Practice the virtues of well-directed will, endurance, hard work and intelligent activity. So shall the all-powerful force of my lightning be safely conducted throughout the psychic channels of your body, from the soles of your feet to the jewelled diadem upon your head. To accomplish this great work, you need to pray daily to Devi, the universal goddess, who is my mother and mother of us all.